Well, here we are with my next uh, crocheting uh, lesson uh, with my husband, Derek. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and uh, I've been working on making chains, and my biggest thing is that I'm making them too tight to the point where my next lesson of doing a single crochet into the chain is relatively impossible. So we're trying out a different yarn um, and I'm still going to try to keep my chain loose and we're going to see how this goes. So I'm grabbing my hook. I've got the different yarn and I'm going to start my chain. weren't doing it right. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You've got it now. So I've got my thumb up here and I'm kind of pulling down. So you want to have it so that it faces you and there's kind of the, the top and the bottom. You see that? Yeah. So we're just going to go through the top. Right. Gonna go through the top one, yarn over, pull through just that one, yarn over, and pull through both. So you'll have to put your thumb at the bottom of the stitch okay. to kind of hold it. And you've got this twisting a little bit, which is part of it too. So we'll get you started. Well, no, let me start. Okay. That way I get more practice doing it correctly. Well, it looks like I got a good start. Yeah, and I don't know how you're doing this. Am I not setting to the right area? You might not. It's 
it's almost like you're going in the same direction. You should be going this way. Okay. Okay. So. I start in front, wrap around, and pull. I just gotta remember front, front, flip, front, front flip. I've already fucked it up. Have you done one? Yeah. Well, this has been a little bit frustrating. Uh, I know it's going to take time and practice, and I, I know I'll get there. But it's just, it, it frustrates me when I can't get it right off the bat. So, uh, so I just have to learn to be patient, which is not my strong suit. <laughs> So until next time, love and light to you all.